that we were reincarnated based on prior teachings that I've, I've experienced under wicked men. Okay? You had men who wanted to pose as ancient prophets of the past. So because they wanted to pose as certain people, they brought in new revelation that reincarnation is existence so they can give themselves authority. Alright? So I've been on both sides of the ball. So I can, we can, we can, blatantly speak in boldness to, to let you know that if you needed somebody to teach you whether or not reincarnation was correct, you the one came to us 10 years ago, <laughs> we would have convinced you that reincarnation was correct. So we can teach it if you want us to. That's how we, we are in authority to tell you that it's absolutely incorrect teaching. And that, 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 that comes from someone who believed it. And I thank the Most High that he showed me it was wrong. Get Hebrews 9 and 27. Let's read that. Then we're going to show you what happens when you leave. What that say? And as it is appointed unto men once to die. As it is appointed unto men once to die. Go ahead. But after this judgment. After this judgment. And the Lord is not the author of confusion. If you done came back 30 separate times, which soul is he going to judge on the day of judgment? <laughs> right? <laughs> Read it again. 9 and 27. Be that. And it is appointed, it is, and it is appointed unto me once to die, but after this, the judgment. After that, the judgment. Go ahead. So Christ once offered to bear the sins of many. So Christ came here one time to bear the sins of many. That's it. Read on. And unto them, look for him, shall he appear the second time without sin unto salvation. Okay, now I don't have to go through all the scriptures, but in the past I've seen men use the fact that the scripture says Elijah would come in the day of judgment. So you had people or brothers like Pharisees and scribes waiting for the spirit of, of Elijah. Mm -hmm. By the same token, because they were not spiritual, they didn't understand it wasn't talking about the Elijah. Right. It was talking about the position Elijah had when he was in the earth. Mm -hmm. The same way the scriptures tell you that David is going to come in a dreadful day. David is going to come and be our king. King David is not going to be our king. It was talking about the lineage or throne Christ would sit on. So it gives you names as positions in the Old Testament. And men fulfill those positions. That's why when Christ told him, you're looking for Elijah. Elijah already came. That was John. Mm -hmm. Because he came in the same spirit of the ancient Elijah. To prove that, when Christ was sitting there with the transfiguration, right. after John was already crucified, after he was already beheaded, you didn't see John next to Moses with Christ. You seen Elijah, Christ, and Moses. Right. So if John just got beheaded and that was the last life, why was Christ why was why wasn't Christ standing next to John? <laughs> so that lets you know it's talking about position when it talks in the Old Testament that you will this prophet must come. It's talking about the position the prophet was in. He would do the same thing. That's why it says in the scriptures, John came in the spirit of Elijah. Right. He wasn't Elijah. Alright? So it's appointed unto men once to die, after that the judgment. We're going to show you that when you die, it's profound quiet. We are not allowed to speak. The only speaking we can do is now, based on what our judgment will be. This is our voice right now. It's going to show you when we stand before the Lord. The angel, the angel that that word that was your so-called guardian, or that goes to the Father every sundown to report, he will be the angel speaking. Accusing you against the Father if you've been wrong. We're going to show you. Let's get into the prophet first. Who has an apocryphal? 
Okay, let's go. Since you have a Bible, get. I want you to go into the Bible. Get get uh, Luke 16. You get that. You got a Bible, right? Yeah. You want to, you, you raise the question of hell. I give, I give it away, though. I almost made it. Huh? I give it away. Somebody get that brother a Bible, man. That was a good gesture, man. Lord going to look out for you. Where are we going? We're going to Luke 16 since you have a Bible. Hope you all have some time, man. Because I don't know when when we're going to see y'all again after this. So our time is your time right now. Luke 16. I'm going to run them all down. 16 to what? We're going to start at 19. This is Christ. What's your name, brother? Chris. Chris? Okay, Chris. There was a certain rich man which was clothed in purple and fine linen and fared sumptuously every day. And there was a certain beggar named Lazarus which was laid at his gate full of sores and desiring to be fed with the crumbs which fell from the rich man's table. Moreover, the dogs came and licked his sores. And it came to pass that the beggar died and he was carried by the angels into Abraham's bosom. The rich man also died and was buried. And in hell he lifted up his eyes being in torments. In where? In hell. He lifted up his eyes being in what? Torments. In torments. Mm -hmm. In torments. Right? So we know that Abraham showed righteousness in his life, so he was taken to where? The bosom of Abraham. That's a place, and we're going to show you that's a place. It's all in the center of the earth, both places. It's in the center of the earth where souls are held. Right? Read. And those that don't believe that this is a place, there's a place. I'm going to give you an example, sister. Sister, I'm going to give you an example. I want you to pay attention. Give an example. And we gave this example at a class the other night. When you sleep, you're just sitting there, right? You're just laying there. Nothing is going on, right? You sure? Yeah, something's going on here, right? Mm -hmm. You all over the place. You're oh, walking yeah. down the street. You're running. You're flying. <laughs> exactly. Right. Somebody's trying to get you. Mine right? Keep going. But that's the example. You are actually indulging in in that life. Mm -hmm. You're just not there permanently. When somebody wake you up, when you get up, you come back. That's why it says to be dead as one that is asleep. Mm -hmm. The difference is when you're asleep permanently, you don't wake up. You're just in that state based on your judgment until the last judgment. So instead of you running and getting away or getting woken up, you get to see the end of that. You get the you get the full dream. Right. Forever. Okay? What verse you at? 23. Read that. And in hell he lift up his eyes, being torments, and see Abraham afar off, and Lazarus in his bosom. Go ahead. And he cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me. And send Lazarus, that he may dip the tip of his finger in water, and cool my tongue, for I am tormented in this flame. But Abraham said, Son, remember that thou in thy lifetime proceedest thy good things. Remember when you was living all good and, and presumptuously all living fat, Greek? <laughs> and likewise Lazarus evil things. And remember Lazarus came to you because he was he was hurting? And needed some 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 medication and needed help and you dissed him. Remember that? Read. But now he is now he is comforted. And thou art torment. And thou art torment. See, maybe this rich man thought that he had another, he had another shot. Maybe he thought. Maybe he ran into one of those Hindu teachers back then. Where you can come back as a rat cat or whatever they be talking about now. Right? So he just he just took life for granted. Which one do you want? I'm at Luke 16, uh -huh. and we're at 25. Okay. Okay. That rich man received a rude awakening. Mm -hmm. See, the Greeks are known for philosophizing. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yes. Socrates and all those guys, they were dealing with science back then to try to prove that the Lord wasn't real. Right. 
So a lot of those guys receive a rude awakening, <laughs> no pun intended, once they die. They realize the place they was trying to prove did not exist was where they would spend an eternity before judgment. Read. And beside all this, between us and you, there is a great gulf fixed. So there's a great gulf fixed. Read. So that they which would pass from hence to you cannot. Neither can they pass to us that would come from thence. So here it is. There's a gulf fixed. Brother, y'all right up here. Get some chairs. There can look over and see people getting tormented. Mm. And those on the torment side can look at the righteous being protected and guarded by him. We're going to show this. This happens in the middle of the earth. No one goes back to the Father per se. No one goes into the heaven. That's his realm. That place was not made for people. Okay? He's going to bring his realm here when it's time. But we don't go the way he is. There's... There's a holding place for us. Okay? You, you got that in the apocrypha? Where it says get to 70? Let's get that in the apocrypha. Chapter and verse. 14 and 42. Second entry 14 and 42. The first question we ask, uh, the first question we answer, we're on it, is hell itself. So we're going to knock that out of the way and get to the next question. I think we, we're knocking out two at one time. We're knocking out that and reincarnation. Same time. It tells you it's appointed unto man once to die, then the judgment. Okay? You ain't, you ain't coming back. Get, get this life together. Second Edges 14 and what? 42. In the world of the day, and at night they ate bread. Go ahead. As for me, I spake in the Lord, and I held not my tongue by night. In forty days they wrote two hundred and four books. In forty days they wrote two hundred and four books. Go ahead. It came to pass when the forty days were fulfilled that the highest state saying, The first that thou hast written published only. Openly. Openly. Oh, sorry. Openly. That the worthy and unworthy may read. So some information, Edris, we want you to make it so that everyone can see what I'm talking about. Read. But they keep the 70 last. He says, but I want you to keep the 70 last. That's what the Lord told him to read. That thou may deliver them only to such as be wise among, among the people. So this 70 can only be delivered to those that are wise amongst the people. So when you look at Edris, the 70 that he told him to hide, was missing out of the book, out of the Apocrypha. Even when the 1611 was compiled, when the Apocrypha was in the Bible, and I got a 1611 with it in there. A lot of you, any of you have one? Any of us have one? 1611. You have one, right? I have one. You have one, right? You have one, right? The 70 that, was, that he told the to hot is not in there. But I don't know if y'all know. Pass me that. Y'all have the Cambridge? In your new Cambridge annotated study of Apocrypha, they tell you in the beginning of the book, in the beginning of the book, that once they found the seventy scriptures hidden by Ezra, they put it in the book. Mm. The seventy he told him told him to hide is what happens when the spirit leaves the body. So now we don't have to guess. You understand? We don't we don't have to uh, deal with what if or the fact that. I didn't know. I'm just going to quote this real quick and go through it so we can get to the next question. It says, I'm at 2nd address 7 and 75 in this apocrypha, the annotated Cambridge, and have the extra 70 scriptures. And I'm going to read them real quick. 7 and 75. I answered and said, if I have found favor in your sight, O oh Lord, show this also to your servant, whether after death, as soon as every one of us yields up the soul, we shall be kept in rest until those times come when you will renew the creation, or whether we shall be tormented at once. 
He answered me and said, I will show you that also. But do not include yourself with those who have shown scorn. Or number yourself among those who are tormented. For you have a treasure of work stored up with the Most High. But it will not be shown to you until the last times. So he said, listen, don't worry about the things I'm about to show you. Don't get scared because you got treasures. But you will not receive it to the last time. To let, he was letting Edris know that he was going to receive his riches when Christ come back. So Edris had to wait in the bosom of Abraham too. He had to wait. Right? But that's good to get a confirmation from the Most High himself. Man, I need one of them. Yes. It says here. Now concerning death, the teaching is when the decisive decree has gone out from the Most High that a person shall die, like the brother read in Ecclesiastes, as the spirit leaves the body to return again to him which, who gave it, first of all, it adores the glory of the Most High. You notice when people say that they died, they seen that light? Exactly. There you go. Exactly. If it is one of those who have shown scorn and have not kept the way of the Most High, who have despised his law and hated those who fear the Most High, such spirits shall not enter into habitations, but shall immediately wander about in torments, like the rich man in Luke 16. Always grieving and sad in seven ways. So the whole time the spirit is in hell, it goes through seven different thoughts based on what could have did different while he was living, or why she was living. The first way, because they have scorned the law of the Most High. Mm. The second way, because they cannot now make a good repentance so that they may live. The third way, they shall see the reward laid up for those who have trusted the covenants of the Most High. Like the rich man who looked over and seen Lazarus in profound quiet. The fourth way, they shall consider the torment laid up for themselves in the last days. The only thing they can look forward to is the fire they'll be thrown into when Christ judge during the second death. The fifth way, they shall see how the habitations of the others are guarded by angels in profound quiet. The sixth way, they shall see how some of them will cross over into torments. So while they're in torments going through hell, the only thing they can look forward to is seeing other people being dragged to where they are. The seventh way, which is worse than all the ways that have been mentioned, because they shall utterly waste away in confusion and be consumed with shame and shall wither with fear at seeing the glory of the Most High in whose presence they sinned while they were alive and in whose presence they are to be judged in the last time. So that's the last way, because once they see the power of the Most High when they die, they can't even perceive in their minds how they could have went against this great God. And now this is the order of those who have kept the ways of the Most High, when they shall be separated from their mortal body. During the time that they lived in it, they laboriously served the Most High, and withstood danger every hour so that they might keep the law of the lawgiver perfectly. And the churches are telling you, you're not supposed to keep the law. Thank you. Therefore, this is the teaching concerning them. First of all, they shall see with great joy the glory of him who receives them. For they shall rest in seven orders. The first order, because they have stri striven with great effort to overcome the evil thought that was formed in them. We have a sin that's formed in us through Adam. That we fight daily. So there's a reward for overcoming that voice. So that it might not, it, so it, it might not lead them astray from life into death. The second order, because they see the perplexity of which the souls of the ungodly wander and the punishment that awaits them. The third order, they see the witness that he who formed them bears concerning them, that throughout their life they kept the law with which they were entrusted. The fourth order, they understand the rest that they now, they now enjoy, being gathered into their chambers and guarded by angels in profound quiet, and the glory waiting for them in the last days. The fifth order, they rejoice that they have now escaped that is corruptible and shall inherit what is to come. And beside they see the straits and toil from which they have been delivered and the spacious liberty that they are to receive 
and enjoy an immortality. The sixth order, when it has shown them how the face is to shine like the sun, how they are to be made like the light of the stars, being incorruptible from then on. The seventh order, which is greater than all that have been mentioned, because they shall rejoice with boldness and shall be confident without confusion and shall be glad without fear. For they press forward to see the face of them whom they serve in life and from whom they are to receive their reward when glorified. They're able to see the fact that Christ is going to give them their new bodies. They're going to stand with Christ. So when he said the dead in Christ shall rise first, that's them. That will get their immortal bodies to become part of the army that will judge this earth. All right? So these teachings have become prominent through Satan. You have a second chance. I've been here before. You haven't been here before. When you say that, and I'm going to give you some examples, people think that because they don't understand what they're really dealing with. Why do you have memories of past lives? You know why? Because the demons that have been floating through the earth since the flood have used many people. Yes. They've been in many people before you. So they give you thoughts based on past people they have inhabited. So people think they're deep because you have seen things from the past. No, that's the demon that have formed and become so much a part of you that you think it's you. Okay? One last thing, we'll go to the next one. This is a short one. This is Josephus. Josephus was a Jew. He was a brother that uh, he was a brother that was paid by the Romans to be a blow by blow journal journalist on the fall of the Jews during 70 AD. It's like they paid uh, like a Ted Koppel to record the destruction of his people because they know that he was a very he was he was eloquent. They knew that he was exact, and the Lord used him. So at least, it, this would not be a biased spin, a negative spin on what happened. Like, they would give you a, a, a history story of what happened, and you, you won't get the, the real truth. So the Romans used Josephus to record his own people being destroyed. All right? He was one of the greatest historians, and a um, very spiritual man. I'm going to read this and go to the next one. He had a discourse in Hades. Discourse about Hades. Why? Because he was always discoursing against the Greeks. The Greeks had these, these crazy stories when people die. How they're entertained in Hades in different areas and all that. And how it's something you can look, can look forward to. And Josephus was like, man, you don't even understand. Then Josephus said, listen, I'm going to show you what happens after death. And don't forget, let me, let me get right, right to it. It says right here. Now as to Hades, wherein the souls of the righteous and unrighteous are detained. So all the souls are detained in the center of the earth. It is necessary to speak of it. Hades is a place in the world not regularly finished. A subterraneous region. There's a movie coming out soon that's showing what happens in the middle of the earth. You see the dinosaurs and all that stuff down there? You seen it? The commercials? Yeah, yeah. They know that the dinosaurs were evil hybrid animals made before the flood that was consuming mankind. They know it was an evil being. That's why the Lord told Noah, listen, only the animals that come and kneel before the ark you let in. Because Satan had his animals on the earth consuming gods. That's your dinosaurs. Because the giants was, was, were intermingling different animals. Reptil, reptilian animals and flying animals with beasts. To consume God's creation. So yeah, there was dinosaurs. They got destroyed in the flood. To prove that, the dinosaurs had little legs. They couldn't climb on mountains. Why are they finding fossils high in the mountains? The water drifted them after they killed them. So yeah, there was dinosaurs. I just wanted to hit that so that y'all can know that. From which circumstance, 
that this region, the light does not shine, it cannot be there, it must be in it, perpetual darkness. Let me go straight to the torments. In this region, this region is allotted as a place of custody for souls in which angels are appointed as guardians to them, who distribute to them temporary punishments agreeable to everyone's behavior and manners. So they're going to punish you based on your sins against the Most High. In this region, there is a certain place set apart as a lake of unquenchable fire, where into we suppose no one have hitherto been cast. So this place, no one can even deal with it until Christ, so Satan, his angels, and the false prophet, and those that are opposed to him. So it's a fire that everyone is looking at. This is where you're going to go. Here's your destiny. But it is prepared for a day afore determined by the Most High, in which one righteous sentence shall deservingly be passed upon all men. For the unjust and those that have been disobedient to the Most High and have given honor to such idols as which been in vain operations of the hands of men, as to God Himself shall be a judge to this everlasting punishment. For there is in this region, at whose gate we believe there stands an archangel within host, which gate when, the, when those pass through that are conducted down by the angels appointed over souls, they do not go the same way, but the just are guided to the right hand and are led with hymns, sung by the angels appointed over the place upon the region of light and which the just have brought from the beginning of the world, not constrained by necessity, but ever enjoying the prospect of the good things they see, and rejoice in the expectation of those new enjoyments, which will be pe peculiar to every one of them, and esteem it in things beyond what we have, and whom there is no place of toil, no burning heat, no piercing cold, nor any briars there but the continents of the fathers and of the just. This place we call the bosom of Abraham. But as to the unjust, they are dragged by force to the left hand by the angels allotted for punishment, no longer going with the good will, but as prisoners driven by violence. So they beat on the way there. To whom are sent the angels appointed over them to reproach them and threaten them with their terrible looks and to trust them still downwards. To, to thrust them still downwards. Now those angels that are set over these souls drag them into the neighborhood of hell itself. <coughs> who when they are hard by it continually hear the noise of it and do not stand clear of the hot vapor itself. But when they have a nearer view of this spectacle as of a terrible and exceeding great prospect of fire, they are struck with a fearful expectation of a future judgment. And in effect, punished thereby, and not only so, but where they see the place of, of choir of the fathers and the just, even hereby are they punished. For a chaos deep, large is fixed between them, like we read in Luke. Insomuch that a just man that have compassion upon them cannot be admitted. So the righteous look at the, their own families over there tormented and can't do anything about it. So, we have to make this life right. Alright? So we got the thing on hell. There's a lot more, but we got too many questions to go all the way and do. Anything else on hell? Alright. It's going to be, and not only that, you have to check this out. Those that are waiting for the second, to be judged in the second death, we talk about people that have been tormented since the beginning of time. That's still there. Then, when Christ comes back, only the bosom of Abraham will be empty. And Satan will be bound down there a thousand years. So they're going to be down there with, have, having to deal with Satan down there with them. For an extra thousand years before Satan is loose. And then the only thing that they can look forward to is their decrepit bodies in the form it was when it was buried coming back like the night from the living dead to stand before Christ. To be to have the books open and read and thrown in the fire. 
Now, I'd rather believe that and get this life right yes. than to think I have another shot. <laughs> All right? <laughs> okay? True. All right. What's the next one? What's the next one? Oh, no, we double reincarnation. We knock out two at once. What's the next one? 140. What? Well, since um, you said something about the reincarnation. Yes. And, you know, for a lot of years we was leaving in the reincarnation. Yes. So, what happens to the young little babies then? Like, you know, might have died when it was a month old or three months old. Where's their sin? Where they sin? Supposedly we was all born into sin. But where they at? In our past life. There is no past life though. In Hebrews 9 and 27, you missed it. If you'd have been here from the beginning, but I know you're dealing with an emergency situation. But we're going to show you that. Ma, well, are you with me, right? Fight. Watch you, brother. You made a point that the hell and yeah. something is in the middle of the earth. What other part are you referring to? Yeah. Yeah. What did Daniel have taken? You go there? Yeah. Yeah. Hebrews nine and twenty-seven. You read it. Okay. Go ahead. And it is appointed unto men once to die. How many times? Once to die. Go ahead. But after this, the judgment. After that, the judgment. That's it. Read. So Christ was once offered to bear the sins of men. So how many times did Christ come? Once. There you go. Read. And unto them that look for him shall he appear the second time. That's when he's coming back again. So it's only appointed unto man who wants to die in the judgment. See, the children, it's a blessing because they don't have to go through what we have to go through. So what about we are saying in the scriptures that nothing new is under the sun? There's nothing new. Like for instance, some people, some people might, check it out, some people might think that they're going to get away with something because this is brand new. Or I'm dealing with something that other people, listen, I'm, I'm, what I'm dealing with is special right here. But there's nothing new, there's no new thoughts under the sun. Right. Everything that happened in this society has happened in every society before. That's right. That's what it's talking about. And, that, that, and the Most High is saying it from his aspect, like, man, you can't fool me. <laughs> there's nothing new under the sun. Like, what can you do now that I haven't seen? That's what the Lord is saying in that scripture. And what about when Solomon was saying that, you know, even he did not know who he was in the past life. Where you say that at? I believe it's an apocrypha. They don't say that. They don't say that. They do not say that. I know, I've read that. Solomon never said that. That's how it was taught to you. Like I said, if I had time, I would go over it because I've taught reincarnation with the best of them. <laughs> I've convinced people there was reincarnation. I think I learned it from you. Thank you. <laughs> so now you can take it from me that I apologize because it was a bunch of madness. And the Lord had us move to get the truth to get ready for what's about to come. We didn't have the information we had then. And back then you had wicked men teaching that because they were trying to claim they were people from the past. So I made sure I straightened that out from the beginning. That we just got to go by these scriptures. Because, because it's, it's appointed unto man who wants to die. And we made a, a statement earlier, sister, that if you're going to be in the final judgment and Christ is going to judge, and God is not the author of confusion. Can you please tell me which soul is He going to judge if you've been here forty times? <laughs> I used to question that, but you know, <laughs> you get other scriptures to come back. That. That. <laughs> well, how many it, times do you get to come back? That's a bunch of madness. 
See, the Lord, Satan throws that out there because if you get another chance, you can waste a few lives. <laughs> you know what I mean? He needs you to think that. Because it's his job to take souls. So he don't want you to get it right. It's his job to take out souls. See, listen, you got another one. You understand? He's the, he's the deceiver. And the Lord says if it was possible, the very elect might be deceived. Listen, we have to make the most of it with this one. Because after this, you go either one place or the other based on your actions in this earth. It's time for repentance and baptism. Baptism give, give you a new life. If you want to come back, go to the water. <laughs> and then the Lord is going to erase your past. You can get your new life here. Amen. It's called repenting and being baptized and walking in newness of spirit. Then the Lord is not going to look at anything from that water back. Thank you. All right? Thank you. Okay. What's the next one? 144,000. Who, who raised the question with 144,000? Me. What was your question on it, man? Uh, basically, um, what's the deal with them? Like, you know, the Jehovah's Witnesses believe that it's only going to be 144,000 in the kingdom. And, and, then, and then there's a question that only the, the tribes will be in the kingdom. But, and I know, like, when you read in, in uh, Revelation 7, it talks, I was about to say, about, Revelation 7. it talks about the great uh, multitude from every tribe and every tongue that was there. Okay. And what? those people... The ones, you know, in heaven or, or, or with Messiah, you know. Well, let's get it clear. We want to even point to you who the 144,000 are. Okay? We're going to get a few scriptures, okay? I need you to get, in this succession, get, uh... Zechariah 2, Ezekiel 9, Zechariah 2, Ezekiel 9, right? Zechariah 2, Ezekiel 9, get Revelations 8, and Revelations 21. That should, those scriptures should clear it up. In Revelations, it says it again. Okay. Just to clear it up, 144,000.